have Chris Holodzik in the studio. He is going to talk to us about his Nicholson Bridge song. And I, did you know that that today was a historic day? Can you put his mic on, please, Johnny? Today is a historic day. Did you know that, Chris? Um, I'm sure you're going to let me know. <laughs> it is. Well, if you were listening on your way in, uh, you would know that today is the day, April 11th in 1977, that they put the Nicholson Bridge on the National Register yeah. of Historic Places. I knew it was in 77. I didn't know exactly when. <laughs> and today is the day. That's why I said that I looked, I thought there's got to be something in Nicholson. I don't want to wait till Nicholson Bridge Day to have no. you on, <laughs> but I have to tie you in somehow. So, oh, there we go. And Perfect. Today was the day. So, I mean, there's a lot of things about that bridge that are amazing. Now, where did you grow up, my friend? Oh, I grew up in Northeast PA. I lived in Mayfield for a while. Then I was in Dixon City, then off, and I live in Archibald now. So I've been all over the place. <laughs> now, i got to ask you, are you related to the legendary Jerry Holodzik? No, I'm not. Everybody asks me that. I mean, that is such a... I, I said, yeah. you, you know, somebody else asked me, and I said, well, he must be I, because... I did, I did know Jerry. I used to work with him at a recording studio I worked at, so I did get to know Jerry. He was a great guy. Uh, that's a crazy last name yeah. to, to not be related. I mean, I'm a Walton, so don't ask me who I'm related. To. That's yeah. my maiden name. I mean, I have no clue. All right, there's a few in Freeland, a few in uh, maybe Hazelton, yeah. uh, and then my maiden or my married name is Stone. Mm -hmm. So again, don't ask me who I'm related to. Yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> and then you know you have a crazy uncle who slept with him. And never mind, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but at any rate, um, it, it's uh, yeah, it's it looks like is a really you must have been destined though to do great things because of that last name. I hope so. Musically, <laughs> anyway, because Jerry kind of did you know yeah he did he definitely did but you're an archibald boy and it's what's your fascination with the nicholson bridge oh uh, well when i was a little kid um my parents used to take us for rides up in the country. We didn't have a lot of money when we were kids, so we didn't really go out and do trips or anything like that. So my father would say on a weekend, oh, let's go for a ride out in the country or something, and we would go, and he would take us up to see the bridge, and I was just always fascinated by it when I was a kid. You were blessed, because you must have been richer than kids are today, because uh, they can't even afford to drive to Nicholson from Archibald <laughs> true, true. with the price of gas. Jeez. But no, um, that's it. I think that's nice. Like It doesn't always have to cost money. No to enjoy yourself and i've always been fascinated by by history and things like that so you know when i got older i started kind of reading more stuff about it and uh you know just became fascinated by it and you know i go up there at least once or twice a year to look at it i take my son now to see it so i live in nicholson yeah and i have an amazing view from my backyard of the bridge That's a nice cool. view it's not i mean probably not the best view but you could still see it from my backyard and yeah. sometimes with hot air balloons going over or now we have the drones that go around it uh, and then there's people that do this kind of is it hang gliding or something their parachutes there yeah there's some kind of like thing it's like it's like a it's like a bicycle but it's like a helicopter something i've seen the videos on youtube it's weird. I don't know what it is. But. I don't know what it is either. Somebody, I'm sure, knows what it is and yeah. can check in about that. But those views are absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. And one time I drove up under the bridge. Well, the kids went down to that place where you're not supposed to swim, I guess. No. <laughs> and they were, were swimming, and I was waiting for them. And I just took all these pictures of the bridge, like from mm -hmm. underneath and alongside, and uh, and I can't find the pictures right now. <laughs> I wish I could, uh, but it's it's just an awe, breathtaking view every time I look at it. The thing I always loved about the bridge is like in the different seasons, it looks different. Like it looks a certain way in the fall, it looks a certain way in the winter, it looks a certain way in the summer. I always thought that was really cool. It's not only that, you have to see it more than twice a year then, like, I've got to yeah. tell you, because it's sun up, sun down, and every day it takes on a new Oh, yeah, I've it, seen pictures. I've seen pictures of it at night, but yeah. Absolutely amazing. And it's just, it's man's handiwork combined with God's own beauty that create that. So totally amazing. This is the Nikki Stone Show podcast. All right, just uh, such a great song, Chris. The Thank lyrics you. and how you fit them all together. And people always ask, does the train still run over that bridge? It most certainly does. Yes, it does. <laughs> and yes, you hear the train whistle uh, go. But it's amazing how people will, like, if they're coming through the area... Uh, down by the pump and pantry there. Yeah. They'll just stop and like watch the train go over the bridge. Mm -hmm. Like they're amazed yeah. that it's still being used. It, and it is. It, and, and, and it's amazing that such a structure still stands to this day. Mm -hmm. Especially considering that, you know, the majority of people that built it had never done work of that kind before and were just unskilled laborers and they were just, you know, thrown into this. That's, that's the amazing be thing. Be careful about of it. your use of the word thrown into this. Because well, of all those rumors 
of people who are buried. Oh no, yeah, that's <laughs> well. Actually, if you if you've ever seen pictures of the construction of the bridge, there's so much rebar inside that bridge that it would have never happened. <laughs> yeah, you, you couldn't actually fall no. into the bridge. And somebody just texted, not just the bridge itself, uh, others up on eleven bridging Martin's Creek and the yeah. railroad stations related to said area. Uh, somebody else, t- oh, hi Nikki, I just uh, walked across the Nicholson Bridge in the 1960s. One I still had one ha- still had a station on it. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Now they're redoing the DNL rail station. Yes, I heard about that. Yeah. I think they should be done soon. It's looking really good. Wow. I cannot wait to see what happens when they open that. I just think we're just such an untapped um, place for tourism as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do have some great restaurants. J- uh, what's the name? They cha- They recently changed the name, and I st- Junction Twenty One is now the name mm-hmm. of the restaurant that you can get the best view of the bridge from yeah. and take some great pictures from as well. There. Are a delicious restaurant if you uh, breakfast and lunch diner in downtown nicholson excellent you have the office which is right next door great wings amongst other things steaks and stuff like that so there are like things to do in nicholson as far as eating goes anyway and it's just a beautiful area in general it's just and I, I have to, um, historic places like the Altmont, the Altmont Hotel is still okay. open uh, as well. Yeah, it's just a historic place. They, there's so much we could capitalize on. I think one thing that they're missing or have always said was they, they need their own train museum, similar to yeah. what they have down at Steamtown. Mm-hmm would be nice now a guy has set up in the old farmer supply building a train um a setup that's pretty cool and they are putting different shops in where farmer supply was mm-hmm. now so that's a, another unique thing in our drugstore unfortunately only open till two o'clock on saturday afternoon lex has a lot of uh, souvenirs from nicholson and some great gift items there too nice. and we ha- also have a bowling alley and a game center <laughs> like believe it or not in a little tiny town like that yeah so there is a lot to do now as far as you go musically it's not just one song that you're all about right yeah tell me about what you do how long have you been playing music oh i've been playing music she's probably going on 20 years now um yeah i've got a bunch of albums out i've done I've done all couple, solo uh not all solo you, I have, you don't I have, get along with people well what <laughs> <laughs> no i i do get along with people well it's just the problem is the people i get along with have uh bands and projects of their own they don't have time for me <laughs> you know when i do get to work with them it's it's always great um i have a couple solo albums i have a lot of i have a couple eps and singles i've been releasing a lot of singles it's just easier especially now with you know streaming and everything if you just want to get a song out there you can just record it get it on there and there it is it's out to the world as, as opposed to waiting till you have like eight or nine or ten songs wherever you do an album and then do an album later so your stuff is out on streaming i'm on bandcamp.com so it's chris ludzik.bandcamp.com oh and, one day uh, in bandcamp great and you can you can stream off of that or you could also you know download off of it which is an advantage to the streaming sites because you can only stream off those these if you like it you could actually download it and it's yours so is there a fee to that? Or? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cost you know, per song or per album. It's kind of like the way iTunes used to be. And so do you have a day job, or are you making a living doing I, your music? I, I am a stay-at-home dad. That's my day job. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. But he's in school right now. But. Some guys are going to want some tips on how to become the stay-at-home dad. Oh, you have to have a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, too. Most, and, you have to, and you have to clean. <laughs> most guys couldn't handle it. Chris is a very special man. <laughs> no. I, well, I, have a very, I have a very good wife, and she's very supportive of me, and she's, she's great. I couldn't do it without her. And has music been good to you, though? Like, I mean, yeah, I enjoy music. It's a highlight of my life. It's always been something that I've looked forward to and lived for. So You never work a day in your life if you do what you enjoy That's doing. That's what they say. You know, <laughs> and, until you become a stay-at-home dad, and then... This is the Nikki Stone Show podcast in the studio with me it is chris halidzik he has a song out now they can find this online right this nicholson bridge song yes at chris lidzik.bandcamp.com so it's called the nicholson bridge bigger than us all now how long did it take you to actually write this song so well like i said i've always been fascinated with the bridge since i was a kid so when i started writing music and i started playing music i always said one day i want to write a song about the bridge problem with that is like a lot of historical songs tend to kind of like overly romantic fantasize things Mm -hmm. and like you know, paint their own version of what it is. I didn't want to do that. So I had to be very careful when I was writing the lyrics to this. So it took me a while. 
And then finally, maybe like three years ago, I, I sat down, I started thinking about the bridge. Well, why, why did they do the bridge? Why did they build the bridge in the first place? Who are the people that built the bridge? I actually have a picture in my house that I bought um, at a local antique store. And it's a picture that they took of all the people that worked on the bridge standing in front of like just the frame of the bridge. And I have it in my basement. And like, I thought this is what the song should be about. The people that built the bridge you know why the bridge came to be this is what it should be about not about oh it's this big great bridge because everybody knows that why is the bridge here and so that's what i wanted to focus on in the song well you think most songs about historical places are, are romanticized like i know another one um written about a bridge london bridge is falling down falling down falling down. <laughs> <laughs> build it up with iron bars iron bars uh, <laughs> it's well i mean iron it, bars will bend and break i don't think that romanticizes well no not I mean, not now granted not all of them do but i mean you know some of them you know they tend to paint their own picture or they tend to kind of take artistic liberties with it can you I imagine didn't... we made that a fun song as we were kids I know. And it, it's almost traumatizing when you look at it. <laughs> Glad you didn't write a Nicholson Bridge song like that. Nicholson Bridge is falling. No, yeah, no, no, that wouldn't work. And it's not. That thing won't fall down. <laughs> oh, and incidentally, you're not supposed to walk up on it or no. walk over it. You're not supposed to be on top there. That is not allowed. Just no. wanted to put that out yeah. there just in case anybody thinks. <laughs> I wouldn't try to anyway. I'm, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I know. Me too. I can't imagine. I saw a, a video of somebody crawling in between the... The pillars, the yeah. The pillars. Did you see that video? Yeah. I, I'm like, I, I was scared for him. My stomach was turning. Well, they made, the, they made those little access points in between so they could, like, you know, check the structural integrity of the bridge. That's why they made those little walkways there. But just to think that somebody would walk through those is, like, crazy. Just for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's insane. But there are da daredevils out there. I'd love to interview him one day. <laughs> that would be great. Chris, are you playing out anywhere? Um, I'm not currently playing out anywhere, but when I do, it's usually like I play like a lot of local coffee houses and stuff like that. I'll do some like you know original music showcases that are around the area every once in a while. So uh, I, when I play out, I play solo acoustic. I don't have a band or anything, so it's usually the smaller places I play. But um, when I do, um, you know, I always post it on my Facebook. So okay, well, and where on Facebook can we find you? Uh, you can just search Chris Ludzik on Facebook. It's uh, Facebook.com uh, forward slash Chris Ludzik dot ninety six. Now spell your last name because people aren't getting it. Sure, it's <laughs> H-L-U-D-Z-I-K. All right, that's how you find it. We can find the full version of the song also on bandcamp.com? Yes. Bandcamp. I didn't even know there was a bandcamp.com. There's so many streaming services yeah. out there. That one's been around for a while, actually, Bandcamp. It's you know it's not as well known as some of the others, but I, I think it's really good. They they offer like uh, high-quality downloads and stuff like that, not just like MP3s. So mm -hmm. you know if you if you like audio and good audio quality, that's that's a really good site to go to to get the stuff. And like I said, you most of the profit goes to the, to the artist as well. They don't take as big of a cut as some of the streaming services do so mm -hmm. it's actually better for the artist again today is the day that the nicholson bridge was listed on the national register of historic places back in 1977 and chris is in the studio to discuss his song a song the nicholson bridge song maybe we can get you to play nicholson bridge. have you ever played nicholson bridge day Oh, no, I haven't. I actually, I requested to do it one year. They never got back to me. <laughs> so, oh, oh. I don't know. well, they were afraid they had to pay you, I guess. No. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> they thought, they heard you were expensive. Uh, I'm not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reasonable. I I'm sure. Chris Holodzik, a music maker, in the studio with us. And he is... Um, touting a song written about the Nicholson Bridge. Nikki, FYI, if you search Nicholson Bridge in the National Register of Historic Places, a different bridge than your bridge is found. Oh. <laughs> you need to search Tunkhannock Viaduct. Viaduct <laughs> I'm <yes>. sorry. <laughs> I live in Nicholson and it's Mayan. <laughs> yep. That's the way I look at it. You are 100% correct. It is registered as the Tunkhannock Viaduct. You can view the original paperwork for placement on the register. So there you go. Tunkhannock you know, Creek Viaduct didn't sing as well as Nicholson Bridge yeah, did. Yeah, so. somehow it did not sound as good as a song. You know, that's the thing. I, I don't understand I, this whole viaduct thing and, you know, being technical about it. And it's just the Tunkana Creek. I get it. But what does the creek have to do with the bridge? Well, they had... Well, back in the day... 
the way the railroad used to be is they went with the lay of the land. So if there was a mountain, they just had to go around the mountain, or they'd have to risk going down the mountain on a slope, and then it caused a lot of accidents. Ooh. Then they started developing viaducts. That's like a so roller. They, that's how they developed. They made the roller coaster, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the roller coaster was designed after they, they tried trains on mountains. <laughs> Probably, yeah. But then they started building viaducts, and so they said, "Oh, we can go over the mountains. We can go across, you know, valleys and stuff." And it made travel a lot more efficient. And that was one of the reasons they did it, because they wanted to uh, decrease the uh, the grade of the slope coming down from Binghamton with their with uh, passengers and with uh, freight and everything. So if not for the for the Nicholson Bridge, you know, the industries in this area could look a lot different, especially like, you know, the coal, steel, mm-hmm. et cetera. That's tr- very true. So Chris Holitzik, he not only wrote a song about the Nicholson Bridge, he knows a lot about the Nicholson Bridge. He's uh, coming to us from Archibald today, and I thank him, a local musician. We'll be back with more of him. This is the Nikki Stone Show podcast. Uh, how many songs have you personally written yourself, like Chris? Oh, well, other than the ones that I've actually released on albums and stuff, I've, I've, I've written a lot of stuff. You know, I usually write, like, I'll come up with, like, a line or, or a verse or something, and I'll have it, I'll save it, I'll write it down, or I'll type it on my computer or whatever, and I'll save it and think, oh, maybe I can finish this off, and I usually end up, <laughs> never end up finishing it off, but I save it, because sometimes I might be writing a song, I'll need a bridge, or I'll need a chorus, and, and like, it might be I there. have this thing, and it sometimes it works, and it fits, you know? I write poetry, well, when I have a brain, I haven't been able to write lately. Uh, I think I noticed that the other day, the last time I wrote was probably New Year's oh, wow. Eve, so, but, uh, and I haven't written as much as I usually do. That's actually do, how I started writing songs, I, I wrote poetry poetry in school and I kind of as I got more into music I started writing well, like longer poems I was like well these are more songs you know what are lyrics poetry put to pretty music. much yeah <laughs> pretty much pretty much there's, there's a little bit of a science there I guess <laughs> on how to make it work Chris Ludzik in the studio with me he did write this great song about the uh, <clears throat> Tunkhannock Viaduct <laughs> which, which we like to call the Nicholson Bridge because I mean can you sing a line line of Tunkhannock Viaduct for me please Oh, yeah, sure I can. <laughs> can you put that to music? How how musical is it? I mean, like like what do you mean? Single like the single line from the song? A single line for the song with Tunkanic Viaduct in it. Oh God, no! I don't <laughs> think I can. That's <laughs> like I said, it doesn't sing as well. Well, I actually don't say the Nicholson Bridge in the song. I just say this bridge is bigger than us all. But you know, yeah. obviously the song is called the Nicholson Bridge. But yeah, Tunkanic isn't very. Uh, Melodic. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the people from Tunkhannock that they're not melodic. I don't mean melodic. the people from Tunkhannock aren't melodic. Uh, the, the name isn't now melodic. Now I'm going to challenge you. You were going to write a song about Tunkhannock. I don't care. <laughs> and the next time you come in here, it's going to be a song about the town of Tunkhannock. <laughs> just to make it up to those people. Oh. <laughs> you know, they have Lazy Brook Park. They have River... Uh, the River... Uh, no, Tunkhannock's a beautiful little b- beautiful little town, too. Yes. Have, you've been there, right? Yes. It's amazing how people... I actually Northeast just bought a car there a couple months ago. <laughs> A lot of people do. A lot of people do. They don't have an, a car dealer in Archibald, do they? Uh, no, they don't. Okay. You a couple used places, but <laughs> you wanted a new one. I well, got spoiled, aren't you? I got a, I got a used one, but a new used one. Uh, <laughs> I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Right. This is the Nikki Stone Show podcast. Joined in the studio by a local songwriter, Chris Halutzik, who is also out there on streaming at uh, Bandcamp. Dot com. Uh, Haludzik, spell, I say, I say Haludzik. It's, it's Ludzik. You don't have to pronounce the H. You yeah. know, I, I like to pronounce it so people yeah. know it's there. <laughs> because, like, without people knowing it's there, especially when yeah, you're trying to be a musician, right? You're trying to be a musician. You need people to be able to sign. Why don't you change your last name? Uh, I don't know. It's who, it's who I am. You know? <laughs> well, yes. And there was another uh, s- s- somewhat famous musician from Northeast PA also with, with the same last name. Yeah. Though, no, <laughs> This just blows my mind. No relation. No. He always, used to, he always used to laugh about that. Whenever we'd be in the studio and he'd bring somebody in to work on something with him, he'd be like, guess what this guy's last name is? It's the same as me, but we're not related. He got, he's got such a kick out of that. How could that be? <laughs> I That's don't know. That's just amazing. Maybe, you know, maybe there was a big fight in the family. Uh, who like knows? Like when they came over on the boat and they never <laughs> talked to each other again and they claimed that they are not weren't related, but they had to be related. Ooh, who knows? Because there's not that many. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I guess some, some of the... <laughs> at any rate, we're not here to talk about your last name. We're here to call <laughs> talk about the, you, the Nicholson Bridge song. Somebody texted in. It is called the Nicholson Bridge. All, I've called it the Nicholson Bridge all my life. Mm-hmm. Also, just can't find it on the register as the Nicholson Bridge. Yes, you have to look up Tunkhannock Viaduct. So your first challenge is people never know how to either pronounce Tunkhannock or spell, spell Tunkhannock. Yeah. And it's really just sounded out. It's yep. exactly as it sounds. Trust me. Uh, railroads were named... Uh, uh, rail, 
ways or the, the people on the companies, railroad companies, named their bridges over the creek or river that they would cross. That's how they always named them. That was the way yep. of doing it. Now, you were, we, somebody texted in earlier about the um, Martin's Creek Bridge, and you were telling me off air about what that was built three years later by. Yeah, that was built like uh, two or three years later by the same people that did uh, the Nicholson Bridge. And the people that did the Nicholson Bridge, they also did the Harrison Avenue Bridge in Scranton that they just recently tore down. So why did they tear down the Harrison Bridge? I think it was it was structural damage. It was just... Well, how come they didn't? Oh, they probably didn't pay him enough in Scranton. <laughs> Maybe not. You know, they probably probably was was that a uh, something owned by the city itself? I don't. I don't know. Or was it owned by the state? Who owns the bridge? I don't know. Do people own bridges? If it's on, if it's on a state highway, then the state would own it. If it's on a city mm. street, then the the city would own it. And so. in, in the railway owns the Nicholson Bridge, yeah. right? That's how that works? Yes. Yeah, so it used to be Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western. I think it might be, I don't know if Conrail owns it now. I know Conrail bought them all out in the 70s. Yeah, I, but I think a Canadian company. Yeah, that's, yeah I, think that's, I think you're right. We no longer get our Christmas train over the bridge, uh-huh. which is very sad. You know, because there was nothing like seeing that Christmas train. It was it, it's something nice for the town because there's not a lot that happens in yeah. Nicholson. You know, I, I mean, it's it's a sleepy kind of town. We, I mentioned we have good food, yes, <laughs> and we did just have a new store open that's arts and craftsy kind of stuff. But we we need a little bit more. We think we should have our own Broadway too. That's what we need to have. Maybe they own. can open a music venue. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be cool. <laughs> well, there there are musicians that play at both the Altmont, uh, okay, and the Office in Nicholson. So. Just so you know. Cool. So the next song about Nicholson has to include some of the businesses. Oh. <laughs> I'm going ha- to put Chris on a songwriting mission now. A song about Tunkhannock and now another song about Nicholson centered around other things. Chris Lidzica, he, he is a claim to fame right now is the Nicholson Bridge song, but he has written so many other great tunes for the world to hear, and you can find them online at... ChrisLudzik.bandcamp.com. It's uh, so th- that's how you do it, Chris. It's, yeah, it's ChrisLudzik.bandcamp.com. Yeah. All right. H L U D C I K. Yep. <laughs> all right. Just run. Ludzik is easy, but you have to put an H in front of it, and the <laughs> H is silent for who knows why they put it yes. there. <laughs> like, why would they put it there? Like, people want to put an H in my name, Nicole. I'm not Nicole. Yeah, I know that's always weird. All well, right. you know, they who knows? My name could have been something a lot harder because you know my my well, ancestors came over like. On Ellis Island in the early 1900s from uh, Czechoslovakia, so oh. and they and that's what they used to do. They used to like just change people's and say, "Oh, we can't pronounce this. Oh, we'll just change it to this." So and, who and knows? Then, but we're going to leave the H there to really confuse people. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, we were uh, Poland, I believe, and it was Wojciechowski. Yeah, and it was changed to Walton. Wow, so that's a change. And I said, "Thank you, God," because I'd still be sitting in my kindergarten class trying to figure out how to spell it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Uh, how would he spell that again? I know I'm 52 years old, but I'm still here. I still don't know how to spell my last name. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and then um, we had a, a, the other part of the family name. My dad's stepfather was Gerzeb, G-R-Y-Z-B. No actual real vowels. Just that Y that wants wow. to be a vowel sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> A-E-I-O-U-N. Sometimes Y. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it depends on, but sometimes. All right. Uh, Chris, please uh, come back again. We'll see if we can get you a gig at the Nicholson uh, yeah, we'll Bridge see. Day celebration. <laughs> that would be great. It would it would be wonderful to hear you playing out live, and I encourage you to look up more of his music. So I encourage you to look his stuff up quickly. Nikki, the Harrison Avenue Bridge uh, suffered. F- from the road salt, oh. uh, the Nicholson Bridge doesn't have to worry about that. Duh, that this is true. <laughs> I, I, I see that. Yeah, there was a fire on the Nicholson Bridge. That was pretty interesting too. Um, that was how long ago was that, Doug? How long? I'm Doug Drake texting, and Doug, always good to hear from you, too. Chris, thank you again for being in the studio. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate Doug it. Drake checking back in around 2000, yes. I mean, okay, I could say that wasn't too long ago, was it? And I mean back around 2000, because since it turned 2000, these years have gone, phew, Yeah. goodbye. <laughs> like, prior to 1999, it was a little bit slower. <laughs> it seemed like it lasted a little bit longer. I'm not wrong. All right, hey, thanks for being along. Love you, Northeast PA. You know I do. We'll do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow.